Hi guys, there have been a couple of updates at my end and I know I'm not posting that often these days on my YouTube channel but I've been super busy because this is my final year of PhD in Neuroscience at the University of Zurich. So I'm really excited towards the end of my PhD but also I know that I have to share a lot with you all. So today's video is about PhD committee meetings and why all of a sudden am I making this video is because today I had my fourth committee meeting and a general rule of thumb is that these committee meetings happen annually. So in the beginning of your PhD, a PhD student is asked who are going to be his or her committee uh, members. Usually you have to have like three of them and at least two of them should have the right to confer the PhD at the specific faculty that you are enrolled in and also at the specific university that you're that you're enrolled in. So for instance, in my case, I am enrolled at the University of Zurich in the Faculty of Science and the two of my committee members have the right to confer uh, my PhD in the Faculty of Science at the University of Zurich and my graduate school is the Life Science Graduate School and the institute is the Zentrum for Neuroscience which is ZNZ. So there are many things that you are hearing here but this is really university dependent so don't get confused in all this. It depends if you're getting enrolled at the University of Zurich then this is super handy for you. So yes I'm just back from my committee meeting and usually um, what I have seen from my own committee meetings is that they last for about one and a half hour in which um, you have to what you have to do is that you have to decide a date with your committee that when they will be available and then at this date you have to show to them what your progress has been so far in the last one year of your PhD. So let's for instance uh, take my case that I started my PhD in September 2019 and my first committee meeting happened um, in September 2020. I think it was 18th of September if I remember correctly. And there uh, you have to basically give an update on the projects that you're working. And each year, you know, the, your committee meeting um, agenda changes depending on which year of PhD you are in. So in the beginning, when you're just a first year PhD and you've just completed your first year in PhD, depending on what uh, your PhD duration is. So in my case, an anticipated duration of completion of PhD is about four years. And in the first uh, committee meeting, I remember telling them a little bit about my pilot data that I had collected and also my study designs and um, quite a bit about the introduction about the different studies which are part of my PhD and the number of teaching hours that I have collected and what's the plan of teaching uh, in the up upcoming years and how to complete it in time and also the other coursework and whole host of other things. So basically I've also made actually a video where I have shown how to um, show it pictorically uh, what your timeline has been uh, in your PhD at least for the last one year and what you have achieved so it makes it a bit more interesting to show rather than just having tables or Gantt charts you can also show your progress um, with some symbols and uh, so if you're interested have a look at that and then um, my second committee uh, meeting happened when I when I was um, I think this was back in October yes this was back in October um, sometime I guess 3rd of October yes I remember it correctly so this was 3rd of October 2021 where I presented again about my study the overview because you have to remember that your committee members uh, might not be in the field uh, of your PhD so for instance in my case I'm doing my PhD with a focus on chronic pain patients and um, and it has a huge focus on the reward circuitry and also the dopaminergic neurotransmission um, and this is all happening um, with neuroimaging modality. So it's a possibility that all of your committee members are not uh, specialized in one specific aspect of your PhD. So it is really important to um, give them a glimpse of what your PhD is about. So tell them about the research questions that you're interested in, the hypothesis that you're interested in in each study. Give them a bigger picture of your project and um, 
not just the bigger picture but you need to also tell them the methodology that you're applying because when you talk to them about the methods they will be able to help you um how to improve um on certain aspects and then you can also discuss with them what are you planning in the analysis and uh, several other things that you can specifically discuss with your committee depending on what their specialty is and where you think the gaps are so that's something um and yes i mean um in in my case the committee um has four members one is my supervisor and one is our um bigger group's head and both of them really know each other well and the third person in my committee is a professor uh, from the addiction department at the psychiatric clinic and the fourth uh, committee member in my committee um is the head of rheumatology department at the university hospital here so in, in my case i think each of them have a really important role to play in different aspects of my phd like for two to three of them i can really go and ask about the imaging modality the neuroimaging modality uh, specifically fmri and to one i can really ask about um the medications that i'm using in my study uh, the dopaminergic um drugs that i'm using in my study and to the fourth one he really has seen hundreds of thousands of fibromyalgia patients so he is the clinical arm of, uh, of specialization um in in my committee and he is really helpful when it even comes to recruitment so i'm really thankful to all my committee members and um yeah as i'm coming back to this uh, topic i think i would be not doing a justice if i don't tell you how critical it is to have right committee members in your committee i know as a first year st- uh, phd student probably you'll not think about this but um consider this as a opportunity to decide for yourself who will be your committee members and they will be like seeing your progress from uh, day 1 until the end of your phd so i think it really makes sense to read about their specialization to probably go talk to them and then ask your supervisor if they know your com- uh, your committee members in person and then discuss with them and then see um get it like decide for yourself if they'll be a right fit for your phd So yeah coming back to the committee meeting um so as i was mentioning they usually happen once in um one year and um as i was telling you about my case because i think when you hear about experiences of people we do tend to learn a lot from them especially i really do that so maybe i was thinking that if i tell you about my uh, specific situation then you might learn from mine So my third committee meeting I remember really clearly was um when I was back from Canada um back in September I guess this was 28th of September yes I was just back on the 26th I remember and then 28th or wait a second <laughs> actually now I remember no so the initial date that we planned was 28 but then um we later decided that we would have this on 5th of October So my third committee meeting happened on the 3rd of uh, 5th of October 2022 and at that time my committee had a very interesting point they said that um since the recruitment of two studies um recruitment of the healthy as well as fibromyalgia patients was still taking time they told me that um potentially we should have another meeting and this was scheduled already on that day of committee uh five months um in advance and then today's date was decided which is march 1st 2023 and then um as per the discussion today i presented my work and my progress and the results that i have collected so far with one of my study and the recruitment status of the other two studies and so far i've really gotten uh, amazing feedback in all my committee meetings um what you have to do is that since the duration for the committee meeting is one and a half hour it sounds a lot of time but then it just passes quickly because in the beginning what happens is that you have to present for about 20 to 30 minutes and then once you do that uh, the committee um sits with you and asks you if you have any concerns or any suggestions or any points that you want to give and this happens in the absence of your pi 
and then uh, when that's done you are asked to go outside and then your supervisor or the PI comes in and then they discuss with them about you um, so in your absence and then in the end they call you back inside the room where everybody else is sitting and then um, they discuss about um, what are the final uh, points or the agendas for the next year and then that's described and usually in the University of Zurich in the life science graduate school we do have a report form that needs to be filled in and then uh, the the chair of your com uh, committee so the head of your committee usually fills out uh, this uh, form where they summarize what was the minutes of the meeting and about the things like whether the student has completed uh, their teaching hours, whether they have completed their coursework, how many publications should they have by the end of their PhD, when is the defense date decided, when should they submit their PhD, and so long, uh, so on. Uh, so many things. So I'm just like saying many things because it's just happened today. And I just wanted to share my experience of comedy meetings. And just one thing to remember is that really take this as an opportunity to discuss um, with your committee because these are the people who have a very different picture of your project than what you do. And so they see your project from different angles. And then really consider this as an opportunity. I have heard from many people that... Um, committee meetings are scary and they really fear this in fact like people feel nervous about these committee meetings but trust me if you work daily on your project and um, like what I did from the beginning of my PhD is to have a master slide where I like add anything that I find interesting so I have by the end of like these three and a half years, I have a master slide where I have pretty much the summary of all my studies. So every time I have a presentation, I take these slides and then customize my presentation uh, from these master slides. So I hope you got a bit of a understanding of what committee meetings are and what should be your attitude when you have your PhD thesis committee meeting. And in addition to this, um, I really just want to say that use them as an opportunity not to be like uh, nervous about the things and don't think that they are going to grill you but genuinely I think most of them are really nice um, committee members and then they want to like help you succeed and finish your PhD with less stress um, and then one more thing that I want to say here is that the your committee members are the people who are really busy like in my case, the clinician is so busy that his um, calendar is booked already one year ahead. So I remember back in October when I had to get an appointment um, for this committee meeting on the same day that he told me that uh, probably I should fix an appointment with his secretary. I really got to know that um, the only next available date was March 1st. Imagine how blocked his calendar is. So one... Um, suggestion from uh, my end to all the PhDs who are listening to this video is that when you schedule your committee meeting schedule it few months ahead like at least give a margin of four to five months minimum in my case the last committee meeting the one that I had today was a fine and was a specific case because it happened only after five months of the previous committee meeting this can happen and it's not a bad thing um, it really depends on what your committee thinks about your progress and it's really a case by case assessment. So that's all for today's video. I really tried to summarize what a committee meeting is, what you should be doing and what should be the attitude. I hope um, you might be having some questions but I hope you have a positive attitude after watching this video on the committee meetings and I would like to just say all the best. For those of you who have your committee meetings already scheduled and see you in next video bye for now